Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. So today is Monday, which is Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to all you guys. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, join the team. Uh, about to do some cool things. Um, gonna do some couple upgrades to the charger hopefully soon. And I want to do some, uh, like a radio or something to this truck right here. But as you can tell, by the title of the video what we're gonna be talking about today is the bully dog programmer which I currently have on the truck it is the GT tuner um, and I'm gonna kind of go over like uh, you know does it really help what have I seen from it is it worth the money and um, for a gas burner truck so I'm gonna get to my spot where I'm headed get out of the truck and uh, you know we'll go over it so see you there all right guys this is my 2006 gmc sierra 1500 extended cab with the five foot bed short short bed pretty much uh same bed that's on the four door if i'm not mistaken so it's like five and a half foot or five and three quarter i'm not sure something like that but um anyways let's get to it so oh by the way i've had a lot of questions about my tail lights I've actually got these on eBay. They're like 90 bucks. So, uh, gotta cover that. All right. So, in the truck, I bought this uh, Bully Dog GT uh, tuner or whatever. And for this truck, I had to do, like pull some fuses and do like some crazy stuff just to install it. And as you can tell, it plugs into your OBD2. All right, guys. So, get the truck running. Get the programmer pulled up. You know, I do have my check engine light, but uh, like I said, that's uh, I think oil pressure sensor or whatever. You know, nothing. Yeah, oil pressure sensor. You know, nothing that can't be fixed. Uh, I just gotta order the sensor and order the tool because I heard it's easier if you have the special tool. You can do it without it, but I heard it's a lot easier. So we're going to get the tool and then I'll change that over. So anyways guys, uh, my truck now is averaging 17.7 .7 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. You know, I drive back and forth to work about 25 miles, 20 miles maybe, not 25, probably about 20 miles uh, one way and you know, majority of that's all interstate, you know, probably three quarters of that is interstate. So economy on here it says 19 miles a gallon I got my throttle percentage set up intake air temperature which is 116 because we're sitting at our idling trans temp 172 so uh, and I usually keep it on intake air temperature just because I like to see how hot my intake gets and it's pretty wild how you can just cut the truck off It drops pretty quick. You know, once the truck's not running all that heat, it's not just sitting there, just, you know, on the intake. Intake air temperature drops pretty quick. It's already down to 113. And so that's three degrees in, you know, a couple seconds. So it's pretty good. The only thing I've done to this truck is I put a cheap colder intake on it. I've done the Bully Dog Programmer. Still got the factory exhaust. Uh, I've done nothing with the exhaust and to be honest the truck is actually pretty stout to be a little 5.3 you know it's nothing like you be out there you know trying to be blistering people and pull up next to somebody in but it's pretty quick I mean it's I mean for what it is I'm not gonna say it's fast it's, it's decently quick so when I first bought the truck uh, one of my buddies has a 454 you know the older square body trucks and to be honest with you it was i mean it's decent it's not i guess i'm not gonna say it's fast as well but it's decent and we lined up next to each other and hit it he took off on me a good little ways and that was about it so i bought my colder intake put the colder intake on it we ran it again it was a little bit closer but the thing i was having problems with is when i hit the gas and i always hit the tow haul mode because it always feels like it's got a little bit more power. It puts me in the right gear I want to be in. So I hit tow haul mode. 
and it always puts me in the gear I need. So, next thing, I, I found this uh, Bully Dog programmer, and I, I kind of wanted to tune, but I didn't want to go have it dyno tuned and spend all the money just to have a tune and, you know, not a cam or anything. So, I figured I'd put this on there, a little cheap tune I could put on it and try it out again. And to be honest, I mean, this is like the 87 octane setting. It's nothing like, it's not the race setting or whatever they want to call it, 93 octane. And <laughs> it helped out a lot. We re-ran again after I had the intake and this uh, programmer and like I got out on him pretty far. Like I was, I was pulling on him hard and I was out in front of him and we were both shot. We were like, wow, the programmer actually helped. Now, I bought this programmer used off a guy for like 200 bucks, I think it was. And I think neither like 430 or something like that. So, yes, I do think it was kind of, you know, I think it was a pretty good purchase. But if I could go back, to be honest, I would probably end up going with a dyno tune just because I've seen a lot of people around my area get the dyno tune over the bully dog and actually make a lot more power. So I figured I'd flip the screen around on you. That way you can actually see me talking. But everybody, the cool thing about the Bully Dog is, is you have gauges right there on the fly that is pretty cool. And it's cool just to sit up there and you know, it just kind of, I mean, it looks cool up there. You know, it looks cool at night. When you turn the lights on, you know, it dims the black, uh, black and red. But uh, for diesels, the Bully Dog or the, Mini Max or H, whatever they call it, H and S or something like that. They're actually really worth the money. They're a little bit more expensive, but as, out of a diesel, you're going to get more tunability, more power from the tunes than you will a gas burner. This thing probably might have picked up like 10 horsepower, maybe. I would like to put it on the dyno with this Bully Dog, and then you know without the Bully Dog and see how much it really helps. But to be honest with you. I think the only reason it feels a lot stouter is because it actually took the wide open, kind of like the wide open throttle restrictor, like as soon as I hit it, you know, it'll go wide open because it's a fly, uh, whatever, whatever they call it, like fly by wire or something like that. So where the throttle body is actually, uh, you know, communicating through the computer, unlike, you know, the older trucks where it's actually on a cable when you're wide open, throttle body's wide open. So uh, this truck, actually i mean the bully dog actually did help it out just because of that reason is now if you want to go wide open you know it feels like it's going wide open so i haven't had the bully dog off the truck in probably about a year so i'm not really sure you know what the difference is i would probably take it off just to see if i could tell a difference but my fuel economy is pretty decent i think um i'm lower you know, I got big 22s on it, so that's a lot of weight for rotating. And I cruise on the interstate like 80 miles an hour. And I'm getting 17.7 .7 miles to the gallon. And I just went to Georgia the other day. I filled up, went from uh, Birmingham to Roswell, Georgia, drove around, came home, and still had like a half a tank. You know, I left on a full tank. So, I mean, that's pretty good because I drove a good little ways. It's about 100 and something miles you know so well technically i didn't leave from birmingham i live you know about 30 miles east of birmingham but i'm used to saying birmingham but uh yeah the bully dog actually helped out a good bit now like i said would i go back and do it again uh probably not the reason why i bought it was the cool factor of how it looked on the dash i thought the bully dog would look cool on the dash and you know i got gauges on the fly it's just something cool it was kind of cheap you know because i think i actually might have got it cheaper than 200 bucks i don't think i paid 200 it might have been like 150 but uh i thought it was kind of odd that some of you guys may know but i had to pull some fuses and i'm not really for sure why i just read on the boy dog i pulled it up on their website to make sure i install it right and i had to pull some fuses and then install it stuff like that so anyways guys that's uh that's pretty much about it now i will do a little pull on this thing uh, i'm not gonna go too crazy just because this is my daily driver and i don't really want to 
break it or anything because I do like driving this truck because it's got actually good AC in it. I like the charger. So, uh, yeah, we'll do a little pull real quick. And like I said, it's decently quick. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's still pretty much bone stock with a $45, $50 intake on it and this little bully dog. So, uh, and it's on like the economy tune. So it's not, it's not even like, you know, fully tuned up. But anyways, guys, uh, we'll do a little pull real quick and let you see it. We'll do the little pull. Can they see y'all? It's gonna be a 20. I mean, as you can tell guys, it's not very fast at all. But um, you know, it's a 5.3, it's a heavy truck. Can't really expect it to be that quick, but I mean, especially from like the lower RPM or the lower uh, mile per hour, it's really not fast unless you drop it down in first. Now, if you drop it down in first and hit it, it's pretty stout. That's what I, how I usually do it. But that was just from a drive and uh, with a stock converter and all that, it's not gonna be fast. But if you put a cam in these trucks, converter, and uh, like some headers and stuff, you can get it pretty quick, which eventually, if the channel starts doing a little bit well, uh, we will put a cam in this truck. I want a BTR stage three truck cam and I'd like to do some headers. Maybe Maybe and uh, Really would like to do like a Magnaflow exhaust system or something like that So to be honest guys, if you really want to see something like that Make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button because that'll really help out and uh, You know, we'll do a cam install. Like I would love to have a cam in this truck but uh, yeah guys, I mean I would think brand new if I had bought this tuner, kind of been kind of disappointed. But uh, since I bought it used and I've only paid like 150 bucks for it, I don't really mind it. Um, it looks cool. I like it. That's the reason I bought it because it looks cool in the dash. Um, I ain't trying to look like a diesel or anything. I just I think it looks cool. So, anyways, guys, uh, I know this video is kind of stupid, but I wanted to put something up for you guys. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, whether you like the video or not. Uh, I will make some better videos, but I'm just, just trying to figure out something to make a video on. And I've seen a lot of people wondering about the bully doll. You know, does it really work? And yeah, it worked on a couple things. It actually helped out my fuel economy. I noticed that a lot. When I first got the truck, I was getting like 16.2, and now I'm getting about 17.7. It'd probably get about 18 if I cleared it out, but I don't want to clear it out because I'm trying to see how far it'll build up. So. And I don't want to start over because my life, if I start over, it'll say 15.8 and I'll be lying to you guys. So I'd rather not know I'm lying than know I'm lying. So anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos. Wicker bill coming on the charger very soon. I'm kind of nervous about that because I'm going to have to drill into the spoiler. If I mess it up, I got to buy a new spoiler. So wicker bill coming soon. Stay tuned. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Peace. Peace.